Today we are going to simulate uh, the circuit uh, GNR voltage regulator. The GNR voltage regulator provides uh, constant load current uh, or uh, constant load voltage uh, irrespective of the variation in the load or uh, line voltage. So now we are going to verify both the reg how the voltage regulator will provide uh, regulation with respect to varying line voltage and uh, varying load resistance or the load current. So first we simulate the circuit uh, the Zener voltage regulator uh, with the varying line voltage. So here the load resistance that is the load current is fixed but the line voltage uh, varies. Now let us build the circuit. So first place the component under power sources select DC power and click OK next place ground click OK next go to basic resistor it is 1 kilo ohm resistor Next we require uh, one more resistor for load and next diodes select G naught here. Here we are using the diode B Z X. 55C10 Next place indicator for measuring uh, voltages and currents first we will include uh, a meter horizontal ok so this gives the total uh, current close now we will make the connections so here the GNR voltage regulator in GNR voltage regulator the GNR diode is under reverse biased condition so here the cathode of the GNR diode is given to the positive of the battery now make the connections Rotate the resistor. Now change the supply voltage. First initially set to 0 volts. Now we are going to simulate the circuit. GNR voltage regulator with a varying line voltage. So here this is your line voltage. We need to vary this line voltage in steps of either 5 or 10. So the total current as the line voltage increases, the total current also increases. But in order to maintain the constant load, that is the load current at the output side, so the GNR current will increase with respect to the line voltage and Zener voltage and the load current remains constant but because of uh, some internal resistance there may be slight variation in the Zener voltage.
simulate the circuit. All currents are zero. N volts. Let us simulate the circuit. The Zener diode just started conduction. So why? Because uh, the Zener voltage is a 10. So that's why about 10 volts. Uh, so it will start slight conduction. Now here we have 5 pico amperes current. Slight conduction takes place. Stop the simulation. So here the Zener voltage is the voltage drop this drop that is 5 volts or you can say 4.99 and Zener current this is the Zener current U3 it's a Zener current it is almost treated as a 0 and the load current this is the load current U2 this is the load current which is 5 milliamperes and then if you change this supply voltage to 20 and then start simulation now start the simulation now the Zener voltage is 9.91 and Zener current is 0 0.174 slightly started conduction and then the load current is 9.914. If you change this to 90 volts, ten point one zero four. This is seventy and then ten. If you change the line voltage to 100, ten point one one two. This is eighty. This is ten. So here this is a drawback of the GNR voltage regulator. So why? Because, uh, because of the fluctuations uh, in the line voltage, uh, there is an increase in the GNR current. So that's why the supply voltage or the line voltage uh, range which can be regulated depends upon the rating of the GNR diode. So now the load current remains constant irrespective of the variations in the supply voltage. The Zener voltage also remains almost constant but there is a, some slight variation in the Zener voltage because of Zener impedance. So that is the regulation with the varying line voltage experiment completed. Next, if you observe uh, regulation with the varying load resistance or load current, here the, we will fix the voltage, supply voltage as fixed one and then we will change the load resistance. So, fix the supply voltage fixed. Let us consider it is fixed at 20 volts. Now, we will keep on changing the load resistance. So now we have changed the resistance to 500 or 100 ohms and then run the simulation. So for 100 ohms the Zener voltage is 1.818 ohms and then current is 18 milliamperes and then if you change the load resistance to 500 ohms and then run the simulation strong for 500 
Zener voltage is 6.666. Here Zener current is 0. And this is 13 milliampere. If you change the load resistance to 1K and run the simulation, Zener voltage is 9.913. Zener current is 0.174. 9.914 is the load current. Next, change the load resistance to 2K. Now the Zener voltage is 10.002. Zener current 4.995. Load current 5.002. Change the load resistance to 4K. Run the simulation. For 4K, Zener voltage is 0 10.014. Here, Zener current 7.482, load current 2.503. So, if you run the simulation for 6K, Zener current 8.312 milli 1.670 is the load current. So if you run the simulation for 10k, Zener voltage 10.019. And current 8.977, 1.004 milli is the load current. So like this, so if the load resistance increases, automatically the load current decreases. But whereas the Zener voltage remains constant and it maintains the load voltage constant irrespective of the variations in the load current. So that type of regulation is provided by your Zener regulator. If you want we can plot the characteristics between the Zener voltage and current.